With Black Armory, Bungie has opted to dramatically shift its content delivery strategy for Destiny 2. This time around, if you're max level, you'll have forges to unlock, weapons to acquire, and a new raid. But if you're looking for new PvP maps, story, or strikes, those are all completely absent. You are not welcome here, Guardian. I see. Welcome to the Black Armory. The opening to all this is a mission that's unintentionally hilarious. After this awkward cutscene, we see Ada, who I would love to know more about, reduced to a stationary plot delivery device and bounty vendor. That's incredibly disappointing. To get you started, you'll begin a set of quests that, for anyone who's cleared so many hurdles already, are frustratingly trivial. After that, each requires drudging through a boring grind that involves shooting a lot of things in the face and collecting seeds, and then doing it again. And once there, the high power level forge activity may have you powering up a while. This makes Black Armory feel like an extra hollow addition. So what are the forges? The first, the Vonder Forge, has you kill Cabal, pick up balls, and throw them at the forge before defeating a final Cabal boss. The second, the Gofanon Forge, as you kill Fallen, pick up balls, and throw them at the forge before defeating the Servitor final boss. There are more to come, but if I was a betting man, I'd guess we'll fight either Vex or Scourge, pick up balls, and throw them at the forge before we fight a final boss. <sighs> to be positive for a second, I really enjoyed the little secrets discovered thus far, like the keys for the mysterious exotic quest or the emblem the community found. Also, opening the second forge added some interesting quests that explore Spider's past a little bit more, and they used the lost sectors, with new obstacles within, as a hub to challenge you with high-level enemies. But the worst defender in Black Armory is the quest design, which has another particularly egregious portion where you're sitting around waiting for a target on Nessus who might take 5 minutes to spawn, or it can take nearly an hour like it did in my case, because it's all tied to RNG and a little bit of luck. Once allowed in, you're given a sniper quest and, yep, it's right back to shooting enemies in the face through an uninteresting grind until you're ready to power it up in the forge. The silver lining is that the forge adds an incredibly important feature, matchmaking. This has been an ask since the original Destiny, and with Black Armory, we're finally able to run through these missions with other experienced guardians. The weapons you acquire through these forge events include the beefy hammerhead legendary machine gun, which, with a good roll, offers void damage in mass. The Ringing Nail Auto Rifle is fairly dull in my opinion, but Tatra's Gaze has piqued my interest as it's rapid fire, hard hitting, and if you roll with a kill clip, it could offer some promise in the PvP space. But nothing has stood out as a must-have piece of gear yet. Now the main attraction and value with Black Armory is going to be the new raid titled The Scourge of the Past. Skip ahead about a minute to avoid spoilers. I like the new puzzle elements like the Sparrow sequence, I love the new map mechanic that adds a visual element for one team member to coordinate the team with and the final boss is a giant walking tank that had me imagining taking down a Metal Gear all over again. On a sad note, however, the raid is a bit bugged at launch, and it seems that many teams, mine included, had infinite revives. That made the encounter easier, but also resulted in the victory feeling somewhat hollow. The problem with Black Armory is largely with expectations. It feels empty because we've been trained to expect something completely different from Bungie's DLC, but it feels paint by numbers and obligatory. Even then, it appears to only be more of mostly similar forges and the chasing of weapons that you acquire by participating in uninteresting quests. At best, Black Armory offers high-level groups new but grindy weapon quests to chase, a few cool secrets, repetitive forges to conquer, some exotic quests, and a decent raid to plunder. But with shallow quests and repetitive forges, so far that only leaves a raid that adds some new mechanics that give rise to great potential, with the caveat that it's currently buggy and easier than intended as a result. Time will tell if this new content strategy pays off, but if you're not excited by a few new guns hidden behind a boring grind, or you just haven't hit 600 power yet, then you're going to find little, if anything, of value here. I go over all this in a little bit more detail over on IGN, but for more on all things Destiny, just keep it right here.